No, I never imagined I would be a competitive athlete at all. <laughs> I've completed seven triathlons, two relays, and I completed the Houston Half Marathon last year. It literally took me losing my legs for me to go, why not? Why not live your days the way you want to? Hi, I'm Caitlin Connor. I am the adaptive advocate mom, athlete, model, whatever you want to call me. I am the hybrid. I have no animosity against the girl that hit us. We were heading out to go eat and we just newly gotten married. And literally a block from the house, a girl was texting and driving and didn't see us and T-boned us on the motorcycle. I actually knew as soon as I rolled over off the bike and saw my leg like that, <laughs> I, I knew it was, it was gone. This was the day before my 24th birthday. When I woke up at 2 a.m. in ICU, the first thing the nurse said is, oh good, you're awake. We, we want to tell you that you're four weeks pregnant. After six surgeries and knowing I was pregnant, I, I knew it was just gonna risk the baby's health. I just decided to amputate right then. And oh, I set two goals that were very achievable, and that was to walk before the baby and to run before the baby. My prosthetic company he said, oh, have you heard of the Challenge Athletes Foundation? They offer grants for a running prosthesis. So I decided to sign up for this grant. The Challenge Athletes Foundation has this thing called SDTC, the San Diego Triathlon Challenge. This is a one mile open water swim, a 44 mile bike ride, and a 10 mile run. So I decided to create a relay team with two of my other friends at my prosthetic company. I showed up to San Diego and it was terrifying and wonderful and it changed my life in a bike ride. May of 2017, I completed my first full triathlon. Um, and then after that, I completed six more within the same year. I received the national title for the Flying 200 for track cycling. I did the first para elite Spartan race and our team won first place. I'm currently trying to achieve the goal of being the first female adaptive speed skater in the world, became the first female empty boxer in the US, second in the world. Basically, if it's out there, I'd probably try it or want to try it. So I've modeled for Target. I've done a, a Paralympic modeling as well for Tokyo 2020. Um, I've started using myself as a way to advocate and get modeling to be more friendly to the adaptive community and um, help pave the way for others to go out and, and understand they're beautiful just the way they are. So my daughter's name is Tinley and um, she will be four this year. She, from the very beginning, has been with me and, and done all these things and come to my practice and seen me train. Her seeing me do all this is the best way for her to understand that she can go out and do whatever she wants. I believe everything happens for a very specific reason and you don't know what that reason is until sometimes many years down the road. And if I hadn't gone through it, I wouldn't be where I'm at today at all. I think I've traveled more in the last two years than I have my entire life. I jumped to different sports to help kind of pave the way and and make the sport a thing. So if you want it to happen, just go out there and start making it happen. Uh, uh.